with the major revamp of port castries set to edify the city's tourism product under global ports holding gph project tourism minister honorable ernest hillet announced the re-establishment of the ranger's unit at monday's pre-cabinet press briefing the unit will assist police officers to ward off would-be criminals and fend off attacks from unsuspecting visitors you would remember a few years ago um, we had a unit that was dedicated to performing providing support to the police um, in certain areas um, that fall under the NCA, the beaches, the um, dedicated areas. And of course, we will be relaunching the Rangers unit. It was stopped by a past government, but it will be um, re-established to ensure that you know we provide adequate security and support for the police in strategic areas. In the past, visitors have fallen prey to local criminals. The minister hopes the reintroduction of the unit will curb the frequency at which these crimes happen. However, he also highlighted when it comes to Castries City, there is more work to be done once the GPH project is completed. We need to look at Castries and to see what we can do from a, from a tourism ministry perspective to help you know, present a better Castries, a more functional Castries. The cruise experience along the waterfront would be enhanced, but if you venture a little deeper into the city, the experience would not be so refined, uh, and we need to find a way. The Rangers unit, the enhancing of Port Castries through the GPH project, and greater room accommodations are all factors which will be brought before Parliament as part of the amendments to the Tourism Development Bill. In the next sitting of Parliament, we will be um, tabling the Tourism Development Bill, um, which is aimed at transforming the tourism industry, offering more support for St. Lucians getting involved in the tourism industry, and the incentives regime to be expanded beyond just accommodation, but to all sectors of the tourism industry. We're expecting some major announcements again, as I said, in terms of the tourism product development in St. Lucia. Um, a lot is going to happen over the next couple of years to improve our tourism infrastructure and improve the product. Hilaire notes it is the overall goal of the Ministry of Tourism to better St. Lucia's tourism product. In order to prevent people from becoming involved in crime, he hopes that the citizenry would take advantage of the chances this legislation will present and steer them towards other subsectors within the tourism industry. For Choice News Now, I am Chelsea Austiny.